Many times, we need to display the content of a data collection, and a web panel is an option to do so. Let's see an example of loading a collection SDT in the grid of a web panel in order to be able to perform some action on its lines. Let's suppose then that the travel agency offers the possibility to register customer requests for the issuance of different credit cards with which the agency works. Thus, we want to implement a ranking of credit cards according to the number of applications registered in 2020. Since this is a ranking, the information should be presented in order from highest to lowest by that amount. Let's consider the transaction design we're looking at and the structured data type that will allow us to load the collection of all cards, each with its corresponding number of requests registered in the year 2020. We open Genexus. How do we load the SDT? With a data provider. This data provider will load each credit card with its corresponding number of applications registered in 2020 which explains the calculation condition stated in the formula. Then, from the start event of a web panel, we receive the output of this data provider, and we do it in the card request variable that has been defined based on the SDT card request data type. Okay, but for it to really be a ranking, we must order it from highest to lowest by the number of requests registered, and for that, we use the sort method. We still have to effectively display this content in a grid. For this, from the web panel form, we're going to insert the variable card requests. Since it's a structured collection variable, Genexus will automatically associate a grid with it. But it is a variable, and we already know that variables in a web panel are input data. Therefore, so that its content cannot be modified, we'll indicate that it's read-only. Note that we can also choose whether we want its content to be displayed in a freestyle grid. If this option is not checked, it'll be displayed in a common grid. Now, let's think about this. Is there any difference between this grid loaded from a structured collection variable and another grid loaded with variables in the usual way? No, in any case, it's a grid without a base table. Let's see it at runtime. We press F5. All right, we have our ranking in place. Now we want to solve the following. We need to be able to select one of these credit cards and have a PDF list of registered applications displayed in order to obtain it. Let's return to Genexus. To make it easier, we've already defined the card request list procedure that receives in its PARM rule the identifier and name of the credit card and displays the registered requests. Okay, let's go back to our web panel. We need to be able to select a grid line. So let's look at the properties of the grid and enable the allow selection property with true value. This also enables the Allow Hovering property that allows highlighting with color as we pass through the lines. It's worth mentioning that the default colors can be modified through the Applied theme, editing the classes assigned to the selected row class, and Hover Row Class properties at the grid class level. Okay, but we also need an event that captures the selected line and allows performing an action. This event is the online activate event associated with the grid. We then go to the events sector and type event and the name of the grid, which in this case is grid1, period, and select the online activate event. What we want to do is to call the list that we've already seen previously and pass it by parameter the ID and name of the card selected in the line. How can we do this? As the grid shows the loading of a collection, 
we must position ourselves on the selected item of the collection in order to obtain the ID and the name. For that, we're going to use the current item property. So, we're going to define the credit card ID variable and we see that it was automatically based on the attribute the same name and we're going to assign to the collection variable card requests period current item period credit card ID to obtain in this way the ID of the card selected in the line. We'll do the same to obtain the name. We define the credit card name variable, verify that it's based on the attribute of the same name, and define the corresponding assignment. Lastly, we'll call the defined list to open as a pop-up window, and we pass the necessary parameters. The variable credit card ID and the variable credit card name. Let's see it at runtime. We press F5. Finally, it should be mentioned that if you were working with an object of panel type, the process would be similar. In the refresh event, the collection is received in a variable. This variable is inserted in the form, and Genexus will automatically create the grid associated with the selected fields. In case you also want to perform some action on a selected line, you must define an event and use the current item property. Finally, this event must be defined as the default action of the grid, using the default action property.